Hello student, uh, welcome back. Uh, so now, uh, today is a uh, same which is linked to the multiplication but is a long multiplication method. Before the last uh, video belongs to a box method and uh, now we will do try to multiply the numbers by long multiplications. So you must uh, know all both methods uh, than which you think is easy you can select any one of them so now if we, if we try any numbers like a two digit numbers so 27 times 3 this is a number we need to multiply so first of all when you multiply any numbers so you need to see how many digits are there how many digits are there we go in here two digits we go in here one digit when it's come to more digits and the last digit so you always have to write down a bigger number on the top and the smaller number on the bottom so 3 is a unit number so write down in here and this is our multiplication sign so whenever you are multiplying then you have to multiply from that number upward and then from right to left whenever you multiply first top number and then left right to left right to left multiply, multiplying so 3 times 7 which is 21 when the number is comes up in Two digits so what should you write down when it comes a two digits so you have to write down the unit number this is our unit number this is our tenth place one so unit number write down in here and the tenth place will carry to the next value whatever answer will come up you have to add that number in there so three times six or three times 2 is 6. Do we need to write down 6 in here? No, we have to see if any number we carried from the previous one, then we have to add in there. So 6 add 2, which becomes 8. So we need to write down 8 in here. So this is our answer. 4 only 2 and 1 digits. So when they comes to our double digit numbers, so let's see them. So we go that numbers. So you can write down now we go both are uh, two two digit numbers. You can write down in any direction. That would be on the top or that would be on the top. Any direction. So just write down here. Four three and this multiplying. So when you multiply these numbers, so again the method should start from the unit numbers so starting always from the unit and then from right to left towards same as it is when you selecting first that one then secondly when you picking that number after so first multiply with that one and then multiply with that one so ignore this number first so we will do that one exactly the same in the unit one leave that one and now we need to select that number first of all so 4 times 3 is 12 so 2 comes here and 1 carry so 4 times 4 is 16 4 times 4 is 16 and 1 is carry so we need to add 1 which is 17. Any other further number in here? No. 7 comes up here. Is no further number in here so then we have to write down exactly the same. 
so when you multiply double number so you have to leave this number alone because you already use unit number that's why we need to leave one number digit unit number leaving that one so now we ignore that one so we need to multiply that value so 2 times 3 giving you a 6 2 times 4 giving you a 8 and then you need to add values so now in here you can see 2 sometimes we write down cross or sometimes we write down instead of cross we write down 0 anything you like you can write down here 2 add 0 or cross which is 2 7 add 6 which is 13 and then 1 carry also so 8 1 9 and 1 10 this is our answer for the long multiplication now we will try 3 with 2 and then let's see how it goes So this is a number, we need to multiply it, so 3 by 2 numbers, so first of all write down in here, 3, 4, 3, and 1, 3, and multiply, same as it is, again you selecting that number, multiply with that, and then left, right to left. So when you select this number in the second, multiply with that and then with this and then with that. So these are the signs. So now 3 times 3 which is 9, 3 times 4 which is 12 and 1 carry, 3 times 3 is 9 and 1 10, like that. So. We, are, we already use unit, so we have to write down 0 because we used a 0 uh, unit. We leave that place for that one. So we go for that one. So 1 times 3 give you a 3. 1 times 4 give you a 4. 1 times 3 give you a 3. Then you need to add values. So 9, 5, 4, and 4. This is the answer for that one. So you can do some more practice and uh, see you in the next video. Uh, thank you.